Hello, my name is Lisa Whitehouse and for today's tutorial I'm going to walk you through how to paint a bunny using watercolors. For a full list of everything you need to get started, be sure to check out the video description below. Alright, so first things first, we're going to sketch out the rabbit and we're going to do the back of the rabbit for a cute simple little painting. So I'm going to draw it super light because with this painting we're not going to be doing it very dark so I want to make sure that not a lot of pencil is showing through. That way it's a lot easier to erase after the fact. So we're gonna draw sort of an oval shape that comes down and gets a little flatter towards the bottom. And then we'll draw a circle here that represents the tail. And then we'll have the head kind of come up from the back. And it makes sort of a triangle shape but we're not going to actually draw it as a triangle, so we're just going to have a look, very light outline. But then from that outline, we get the ears. So one ear here, and we want to keep them similar in size, but not necessarily painting, pointing the same direction. So this one is slightly sideways. I'm actually going to shrink the sides of the head a tiny bit in proportion to the body. like so. All right, so first things first, we are going to add some color for the tail. So I'm going to use some clear water and I'm gonna just draw a few little flecks of water on the tail and just little spots, not filling it in. And then what I do is I take a liner brush. This is a number two and I'm gonna take some Payne's Gray and I'm just gonna ever so slightly Add a little bit of texture to this tail. This is a white tail, so we're gonna keep it fairly light. But even, even white tails have some shadows on them, so that's what we're trying to illustrate right here. So right now I'm just dabbing the tip of my brush around the tail. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of teal, because I'm gonna be using a mix of teals and some pinks in here. And I'm just gonna add in a little bit of that teal here. Like so. All right, so now we're gonna do the same thing for the body, except this time we're gonna fill it in a heck of a lot more. So I'm gonna take a large brush. This is a number 10, and I'm gonna fill in the whole body. And if you've missed some spots, that's okay, but the idea is to get watercolor almost everywhere. And go ahead and be fairly liberal with the water. That way the watercolors can make their way around quite a bit. And we don't need it to be a smooth edge. In fact, it's better if it's not because bunnies aren't perfectly smooth. So I'll show you how to really achieve that after I've got water now. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the tip of my number eight. You can use the tip of a 10, but it's quite large. And I'm gonna go in with a bit more Payne's Gray. And I'm just gonna go along the edge and give this bunny an uneven edge on him. So just Letting the brush kind of move around, making my way up, I'm going in here. I'm going to cover up those pencil lines now because it's easier than erasing them. This is why it's so important that we don't draw too dark. Sometimes for the tutorials, I will draw a little bit darker, but if you're at home and you can see your pencil lines, you want them to be just as dark enough to see. No darker than that. If you have trouble seeing them and you have to look closely, that's actually probably perfect. So you can see I've just made my way around. And we're gonna now just add a bit more. So we're gonna do the, follow the same pattern and go around the edge. And then we'll go right around the tail because it's probably pretty dark right where the tail meets the body. Just because it kind of nestles in there. And we'll have the watercolor actually come down around the back underneath. And because this is mostly dry now, I can butt right up to that tail now. And then I'm going to add a little bit of teal on the body because this isn't a regular colored bunny so 
I like a little bit of color. So I'm going to drop more color in some areas than others. And you can kind of move the book around. I use a watercolor block so it allows me to pick it up really easily and move it around. And just keep adding it till you get at the darkness you want it. And keep in mind, if it does dry quite a bit lighter, lighter than you had planned, it's not that hard to go in and add more after. So I'm going to add some clear water here and try and get a little bit of variation. Sometimes adding that clear water after creates some cool effects. So now we're going to do the head. And for the head, I'm okay with butting up to the body, but I'm not going to do it a lot. So the head, I want it to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to take a bit more of the Payne's Gray and drop it in. Like I said, I'm not worried if it touches the body, but because I do want it to be a tiny bit darker, I'm going to be mindful of not touching it too much so that the paint stays on the head. All right, so then we're going to move into the ears. And once again, the ears can touch the head a little bit in terms of the water, but we're not going to want to pull all the color out because we're wanting the ears to be pink. So I'm okay if a little bit bleeds in. That's kind of the loose effect we're going for, but I don't want too much. So I'm going to now drop in a little bit of pink. My pink is quite bright. So I'm actually going to water it down a little bit to make it more in line with the more muted colors of this piece. And the way I mute my pink is I cover, I put the pink in and then I take a bit of Payne's Gray after and I'm just going to mix it on the page. You, you can mix it on a palette, but I find I kind of like the way it mixes on the page. And then we're going to do the same thing here. And the head's almost dry, so it's going to be less concerning of it bleeding into the ear now. So we're going to take a bit of pink, mix with Payne's Gray. Just like so, and move it around till we've filled up almost everything. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually darken the head. I'm going to take some Payne's Gray again, and I'm going to add a line here while it's still wet. It's important that it's still wet so that it doesn't, doesn't create a harsh line. And I'm just going to darken parts of that head so that they don't look the same as the body. And some of these lines are actually too dark, so I'm actually going to add a bit more clear water, kind of just bouncing around. And then I'll do the same thing with a line here. And then while this is still wet, I'm actually going to add a tiny bit more color on the bunny's body as well. Just because, as I suspected, it's drying quite a bit lighter. So it went really dark there. So what I like to do is just add some clear water and then have it move around and see where it goes. Because we still have quite a bit of water on the page, it's not a big deal. All right. Last but not least, I'm just going to take my number 10 again, and I'm just going to kind of swirl the brush around a little bit and create a tiny bit of texture, just a tiny bit, ever so subtle, in the areas where it's dry. And even on the tail a little bit. You'll barely see it, barely know it's there, but I think it's just a nice effect. Darken up here, 
We're almost done. Just using the tip of the brush here. Like so. All right, so last but not least, I'm gonna take a bit more teal and splatter some teal in. And I like the way the splatters, unlike using the tip of the brush and doing it on purpose, doing the splatters, they're a bit more random. I think they look a little, a little bit neater, less forced. So just like so, I make my way around. I'm gonna do a tiny bit of pink in the ear. Maybe I'll throw a little bit of pink in the body here, like so. So we're gonna let this dry 100% and then once it's dry, I can erase all of the pencil lines and it is all done. So it's time to give it a sign. I'm gonna use my Payne's Gray to sign it just down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed painting along with me. If you wanna see other videos just like this one, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much and have a great day.